The product used here is a GEC Model 400, expected to be very similar to the scale we will use in production. It is low profile, very durable, accurate, and lightweight. An on-purpose cart to make the scale and ramps portable and handy to use might be like the GEC's cart shown here in the left side of the picture. Uh, probably a little over four years ago, the company was having a lot of problems with when the customer comes in, we tell him what the weight in the CG of his airplane is, and he plans his configuration and his operation around that. And then he gets the airplane a year later or a year and a half later, and it needs to be close. At that time frame, we were having a lot of variance. Charlie Johnson called us down to his office and says, I'd like you to fix it. He called. Uh, challenged Andy and myself to go fix that. So we started out to improve the CG of the airplane. Well, in that process, in about a year later, Andy and Craig Estep got us in the conference room and says, okay, I don't only want just to improve the CG of the airplane, I want a better weighing system. I want it safer, I want it faster. So uh, there's been a team that's worked approximately four years and many of the team members are here. Uh, on this and we think we've got something to deliver and that's what we want to demonstrate today. Uh, thanks to GEC, George Lindbergh and Curtis Jennings are here and you're welcome to ask them as hard of questions as you want about their equipment and they're gracious enough to, to demonstrate their equipment for this uh, weighing. What we're going to demonstrate here is basically a weighing as you would do it at W1, at W7 in position one, uh, as, as near as we can. Uh, Greg Boyajian will just say go and we'll go put the scales there, weigh the airplane and we'll be done. This morning we did it in less than 10 minutes. The aircraft is first put to the tow motor. The ramps and scales are put into position. Reaction readings are located with each scale, and the scales are zeroed. The aircraft is rolled onto the scale. The scale has no sweet spot. As long as the wheel is somewhere on the scale platform, the reading will be accurate. The brake is set or nose wheel chocks may be used. They would tear out when the scale is zero. The tow bar is removed and cleared. A computer is connected to a plug in the battery area to read the attitude of the aircraft. Once connected to the accelerometer, the PC screen displays the angle of the aircraft in roll and pitch on a dial. The number updates every second. This program was written at Cessna and contains model-specific data. The scale reaction is read and the exposed portion of the landing gear oleo is measured for each gear location. The data is entered into the computer screen and fields provided. Once all the data is entered, the PC will use the data and the aircraft angles to compute the weight and center of gravity of the aircraft. This information can be sent directly to the weighing form. The brake is released and the aircraft is removed from the scale. The scales are returned to the cart and ready to move to the next weighing opportunity.